Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Thursday. Today is the day we craft and today we're gonna stitch a shirt. We're gonna make this shirt. This is a very very easy project and it's gonna take no time. We probably will make it in 20 or 30 minutes and that's all the time we're gonna spend doing this project. So I hope you enjoy it. Stay with me so we can stitch together. All right, to start with this project, I'm gonna draw my cat in a piece of paper and I'm gonna start drawing like a semicircle. And I'm using a piece of string to help me because I don't have any other way right now. So I'm just gonna try to make this as accurate as possible. It doesn't matter really at the end because I am gonna cut this. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, draw a line because I don't want this to be an exact, like a circle. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of uh, the circle off. I'm gonna draw my um, ear right here. And it's very simple just like this okay and I'm gonna fold my paper I'm gonna make my circle match and I can see it through the light I don't know if you can see it from where you are but I, I can I can make them match just by guiding me gu guiding myself with the light okay um, I'm gonna draw um, like the half of a um, heart here that will be my nose and I also am gonna um, make the eye I'm gonna have close eyes for my cat so that's what I'm gonna do I'm coming on the other side and like I said guiding me guiding myself with the light I can see the ear on the other side and I can see the eye also all right, I can see the heart. Okay. Very good. Now, I forgot to do the line here. It's okay, I can, like I said, I can always go back in. Okay, now, that's ready. What I'm gonna do next is that I'm gonna cut just like this like it is uh, folded my paper is folded and that's I'm just gonna use the lines on this side to be able to cut this um, cat and this is what is going to look that is all I have to do to transfer this to my shirt that I'm gonna use once I have that done, I'm going to place my cat over my shirt. Um, I'm going to find the spot where I wanted it. I am going to use a um, marker that is made for fabrics. And I'm going to go all around the cat. You can use a pencil if you don't have this. And I'm just going to go making dots all around the cat. Now I'm going to cut um, the part of the nose and the eyes. So I'm just going to go around the heart, the half of the heart, right here. I'm going to open my paper and I'm going to cut this part right here. And this is going to help me to make like a stencil so I can know where to mark uh, the eyes and the nose. And I'm going to place this over the silhouette of the cat that I already had. I'm going to uh, see that that matches. and. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go with my marker around the eyes and the nose just with dots and this is how it's going to uh, look like it. Well I went ahead and I started with the face so I already made my eyes and my nose. I'm gonna show you here on this part how uh, we are gonna do this. I'm using a six threads um, to embroidery, embroidery, embro whatever that is. Um, and I'm using all the six threads 
so I'm gonna go here I'm, I'm gonna try to find my first mark and I'm gonna try to go through the middle of that uh, through the center of that first mark okay I'm gonna find my next uh, mark and I'm gonna go through the center of that one don't worry about this because we're gonna hide this later um, I'm gonna go under my uh, work and I'm gonna try to find the middle of the first stitch like this I don't know I hope you can see the needle right here um, this is how it looks like you kind of want like three threads on each side of the needle of course we're not gonna count them but that's that's the look there we're looking for okay so I'm gonna go to my next mark again like this okay I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna go and try to find the center or the middle of the last stitch I made it's like having three threads on each side of the needle okay I'm going to the next mark try to find the middle of that to the next mark and this is taking forever for me because of the camera because I'm working um, like my hands are very far from my face exactly because of the camera but I promise you this is a very very uh, easy stitch you're gonna do it very fast I promise you that like I said um, this is a very easy project and you will be able to make it in no time I'm just trying to go slow so you can see what I'm doing and well there are other factors for me that are not letting me go as fast as I want but you will go very very fast and I'm gonna um, advise you not to stretch your shirt when you put it in the hoop or the ring whatever this is called because you are gonna end up with something weird looking at the end so try not to put any tension on your shirt whenever you are putting it in the ring or hoop okay so this is all I will have to do and I'll just go all around the um, silhouette or I mean all of the marks that I already have here and I think this is why I like having the marks because you know it can show me easily where to go I finished the face and I'm gonna show you how to uh, finish it I'm going on the back part and I'm gonna look for the nearest stitch I have on the back side okay and I'm gonna go inside of that I'm gonna go inside of that again and I'm gonna try to make a hoop here all right and look I'm gonna pull the fabric at the same time that I pull the thread because I don't want it to look wrinkled or anything to hide this part you can always leave this part longer I just forgot about that but um, if you did the same thing that I did I'm just gonna go with my needle through the first three stitches really the best thing you can do is just to leave um, a longer thread that will be easier way easier okay I'm, I'm gonna try to go through the eye of my needle okay so I got it <laughs> I have my thread through the eye of the needle and what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna um, pull my needle it's gonna take you a little bit of uh, work since all of those stitches are um, in place and you know all right so I'm gonna pull a little bit more 
and I think that will be enough I'm just gonna cut the excess and I'm gonna take out any thread that is out there and now I could hide it finally so this is how your shirt is gonna look like I think it's a very very pretty project um, and I hope you enjoy it so that is it for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave us your comments down below and to like us that help us to do better things for you next time so you have a wonderful day